So guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to this 84 rated League SBC near Karte review. This card actually looks pretty cool. It's got 97 pace and pretty good shooting stats and also a 99 um, attribute which we'll talk about in a moment. So I'm looking forward to trying this item out. This card obviously is one of the rewards for completing the Saudi Pro League League SBC. And um, for completing that league SBC, you actually get an interesting choice. Obviously, you've got this Percy French striker, which we're going to talk about today. But the other option for the reward for completing the full set is a really good looking Uruguayan right back, which is, um, yeah, that card looks absolutely incredible. So I'm definitely interested in trying out that Uruguayan right back at some point. If you guys want to see a video on that card, make sure you leave a like rating on this video and make sure you let me know in the comments. If there's enough support for it, I'll do it. So uh, bear that in mind. Anyway, in this video, we are, of course, going to be focusing on the French forward Nia Carte. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's a good card. So this is the team I'm going to be using him in in-game. We're going to try him out as a striker in the 4-2-3-1 and in the 4 2 Without further ado, let's have a look at this item. So he's got a medium, medium work rate, which is a bit of a shame. I prefer him to have a high attacking work rate, but it's not the worst thing in the world. He's got a four star weak foot and three star skills, and he is um, left footed too. In game attribute wise, as you can see in the pace column, we've got 97 ratings in both um, departments. So uh, in game, we are expecting this guy to be absolutely rapid. In the shooting section, uh, this guy has an attack positioning rating of 80, 84 finishing and 89 shot power. And on top of that, he's also got 86 composure, so he should be pretty handy in front of goal. Especially with him having sniper cam on him, which is obviously going to boost his finishing a bit more in game. The passing department looks, looks okay for a striker, I guess. His long passing looks horrendous of just 41, but his shot passing rating of 81 actually looks alright. Now, let's talk about the dribbling department, shall we? This guy has 99 agility, which is, um, yeah, pretty impressive. You can't really get much better than that, so it'll be interesting to see how this guy feels on the ball. He's also got really high aggression, but his ball control and in-game dribbling ratings of 74 and 80 are actually uh, relatively average at this stage of the game. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see what this guy is like in possession of the football in games. Obviously, like I've said, I'm going to be using Sniper Chem, so some of this guy's dribbling attributes have obviously been boosted a bit more as well. So hopefully that will help him out. Physically, um, he's got an elite stat once again. He's got 99 jumping, so aerially he should be all right. He's got okay stamina of 82 and a decent strength of 81. So, um... Overall, I think the in-game stats make this card look pretty interesting, like I've said numerous times. So uh, let's get into some matches, let's test this card out. So, for the Frenchman's debut, we come up against a full Premier League side. It's a pretty average Premier League team, but um, it's fairly obvious that my opponent is trying to do the uh, Premier League player milestone objective. So, uh, he's probably going to be try hard in which I don't blame him, because uh, that objective is not easy. Here's Martial, he's going to put the ball down the line. And Nia Kate now has something to chase down this right edge. We're going to pull the ball back inside. We're going to put the ball inside with a pass. And then Usman Dembele has uh, put the ball in the back of net. A very early assist for our French forward. Come on, win the header. You've got 99 jumping. I expect you to win every header. That was up against Nathan Aki, who's obviously a short centre-back. So um, I'd expect him to win that with ease. Okay, might have a chance to break now. Nia Kate and Dembele linking up very nicely. The ball slid through. Can he get on the end of this? He is pretty quick. He has got on the end of it and he shoots with his left foot and it goes right into the bottom corner. And just like that, it's 2 0. Give any player with this much pace a bit of space and there's going to be trouble. I've got to say, um, this guy really doesn't like to make too many runs forward. You've seemingly got to like force him forward, which is a bit frustrating. So, thus far, I'm not too happy with his run making and positioning. But uh, now we might have a chance on the break. But unfortunately, Nathan Aki gets there first. Well, my opponent has seemingly had enough and he has rage quit in the first half. So a goal and an assist on debut for Nia Carter. Not too bad, but um, I didn't really get too many minutes with him in that game. So I'm not really going to give uh, much of my opinion on him from that match. So let's get into another game quickly and see how he does against a different opposition. Up next for the Frenchman is this. It's um, it's actually a near full French side, which features the likes of one to watch and um, He's also got uh, Dembele at right mid and... He's got uh, Mbappe up front. Chance to break now down this left edge. Usman Dembele. 
Coming in off the wing. Puts the ball inside. Fans near Kate. Near Kate. Puts the ball in the far side of the net with a really tidy finish. Dembele. Fans near Kate. Who's going to try and get round Longley here? He's going to try and get round him, but uh, Longley's got enough strength to hold him off. Dembele. Inside. Near Kate. Nice bit of dribbling. And then he tucks the ball in the back of the net. It's kind of amazing. Like, for the first 10 minutes, honestly, my opponent was all over me. But then the last five minutes, we've just banged two goals in. Oh, a chance to break now. And surely, Nikate isn't going to get caught here. You would imagine not. We go for the... Oh, that was me. That The error there is me. I went for the chip and I, I did it too soft. Nice breakaway run, but um, I bottled the shot. Bella puts the ball through. Nikate, can he get round Longley? He should be able to, but Longley has just nudged him to the floor. Here's a chance. Here's a chance. Bit of space. Left foot strike. Oh, what a save that is from Testegen. And there's the half-time whistle. Unfortunately, at the break, the score is 2-2. I've um, I've bottled a 2-0 lead, which I'm not happy about. He's had two shots on target, and they have both gone in. Not good. Oh, good play there by Dembele. He's put Niakate through. Goes to the strike, and for some reason went for, for it with his right foot. And uh, got saved by the keeper. I wanted a left-footed strike there, because I was going to blast it into that near post, but... um. So the full-time whistle's just blown, and unfortunately, we uh, we lost this game. And to be honest, I'm really not happy about that. I really don't feel I deserve to lose that game, but we've lost it. That's uh, that's FIFA, I guess. Anyway, uh, Niakate in that game got himself two goals, which was uh, a decent return. But it has to be said, Usman Dembele did do most of the work in them goals. Anyway, let's get into another match and uh, hopefully get a W. In the next game, we face a very strong Premier League side, which also features an icon, Roy Keane. He's got the likes of Mane, Salah, Aubameyang, De Bruyne, Kante. He's literally got like the highest rated player in every position uh, for a Premier League team, I believe, which is uh, pretty mad. Obviously, apart from Aubameyang, you can get higher rated strikers, but Aubameyang probably is the best striker in the Premier League on FIFA. Guardiola, fans near Kante. He's going to link up with Dembele. Near Kante gets the ball back, but he's up against Van Dijk, so we just want to... Avoid getting into a battle. Strength with him. We get the shot away. And it's ended up in the back of the net. That's actually a really nice goal from the forward. I was just trying to keep possession and try and avoid getting too close to Van Dyke because I get the feeling if Van Dyke had got hold of Niakate, he'd knocked him off the ball. Luckily, we kept enough space between us and the defender. And as you can see, the guy puts it really well into the far corner out of the goalkeeper's reach. Very tidy finish. I see how. Fans. Niakate, who's going to try and open up some space, but... Oh, he's done really well there up against Van Dyke to keep the ball. But uh, Kante, unfortunately, disperses him in the end. The referee has just blown for half time, and at the break, the scoreline is one goal apiece. Um, but I'm feeling pretty confident that we're going to get the win in the second half. So, uh, yeah, let go. Martial does really well, puts the ball through. Near Kante with a chance, right footed strike. And just like that, we have got ourselves the lead in the second half. Martial slides for a really nice through ball. Niakate is going to try and get round Van Dijk. Gets the shot with the left foot. But uh, De Gea makes the stop. Balls come through from Dembele. Can Niakate get through this gap? Good bit of acceleration there, but Van Dijk just gets back at him in time. And there's the full-time whistle. We get ourselves a 2-1 victory thanks to two goals from our French forward, Niakate. Okay, so after a few more games with this Niakate item, what are my thoughts on this League SBC reward card? Um, it was alright, to be honest. It was an alright card. It definitely didn't blow me away, which was a bit of a shame because, I won't lie, after seeing some of the in-game attributes, I thought this card was actually going to be much better than uh, it turned out to be. But anyway, let's break things down, shall we? So we'll begin by talking about this guy's pace. Obviously, he's quick. He's got 97 pace, and in-game, when he breaks away, not too many players in the game are going to catch him obviously some of the like higher tier fast defenders will because that's how FIFA 20 works but um, for most part if this guy gets a yard or two on a defender he probably won't be caught so no complaints about the pace as you'd expect in front of goal how was Niakate um he was decent to be honest and um, he was pretty good I liked his power shot but um I didn't think his finishing was anything too special now don't get me wrong this guy's finishing isn't bad or anything like that but uh he's definitely not as clinical as uh, other attacking options in the game 
Um, his positioning was good, but once again, not amazing. He's got medium, medium work rates and an okay attack positioning stat, so he didn't get involved as much as other high-level forwards in FIFA, so there's something to bear in mind there. Occasionally, though, he does make a good run, and as you can imagine, when this guy gets uh, a yard or two on his defender, when he makes a good run in behind, no one's really going to be able to catch up to him. His passing for a striker I thought was okay, his short passing the link of play was good enough, but um, as you can also imagine by seeing his long passing start at the start of the game, um, yeah, his long passing distribution isn't great, so don't be trying too many through balls with this item. Now we come on to this guy's dribbling, which I found to be quite interesting because as we already know, this guy has a 99 rating for his agility, which is absolutely brilliant. But his ball control isn't great and in game you can feel that and that obviously does affect his overall dribbling. So uh, yeah, this guy's ball control just lets him down in my opinion. It's, he's got a 74 rating for his ball control and even with Sniper Chem, his ball control is only boosted to 79. You can notice when this guy um, is on the ball that he doesn't have the best ball control. He takes slightly heavier touches than other players and uh, yeah, he's... He doesn't protect the ball all that well, so that's something to bear in mind. Sadly, his dribbling was not as good as I hoped, and uh, I put a lot of that down to his uh, low ball control. Physically, don't really have too many complaints about this item, though. Um, he was quite strong, and he battled for the ball a decent amount. And uh, also, I was pretty happy with his aerial ability, to be honest. Um, he leaps pretty high, and he actually does win a decent amount of aerial battles. Overall, then, what's the verdict on this card? Um, it's a good striker, but it's... It's not a great one in my opinion and in FIFA 20 there are a lot of great French strikers so uh, because of that I have to say I don't really advise picking up this item. According to Footbin the SBC costs around um, 100k to complete and to be honest 100k for this card it just doesn't seem worth it to me especially when you can pick up players like Ben Yedda etc for much less and I think Ben Yedda is a better card than this item in game to be honest. So guys, those are my thoughts on the 84 rated Neokate item. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do drop a like rating on it. In the comment section down below, let me know your thoughts on this card. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.